Calculate the volume of the figure below in liters. Kwa hivyo tumeambiwa to calculate the volume of this figure. At the end of the answer, the answer should be in liters. Kwa hivyo kwanza kuangalia which figure is this? The figure is the cylinder. So if it is the cylinder, tunajua the volume, the formula for getting the volume of the cylinder. The volume is by R square times what? Times height. Kwa hivyo we get the area of the base and then times height. We get the volume of that. So let us now apply the formula. By it is 22 over 7 times radius. Radius tumepewa kutoka kwa mbaka kwa tumepewa diameter. Kukipewa diameter, radius ni a half the diameter. Kwa hivyo radius ni a half ya 28 which is 14 times 14 times height which is 100. Height in 100. 7 ni mara moja. Hapa ya hindi mara mdiri. So tutakona 44 times 14. 44 times 14 here is 16. 16 is 17. Here is 4. 4. So 6, 11, 5, 6. Then times 100. So we will have 6, 1, 0, 1, 2. Oh, sorry, 6. 6, 16. 6, 1,600. This one is centimeters cube. Kwa hivyo the volume. Sasa, do you know how to convert the volume in centimeters into liters? Yes. You say 1,000 centimeters cube is equal to 1 liter. You ask yourself 61, 600 centimeters cube, you can prepare how many liters? So, in 61, 600, you divide by 1,000. So it was 61.6 liters. Kwa hivyo, kitu cha mahana ni kuweka formulas kwa kitu. What is the value of P in this equation? P minus 4 divided by 3 plus P minus over 5 equal to 4. Kwa hivyo, this is an equation. Ikiwa ni equation, unaangalia LCM. LCM ya 5, ya 5 na 3. Hapo unaweka over 1, ngewekwe, ni banane. So, tukuna 3, 5, 1. LCM ya wayote ni kapi, ni 15. So, the LCM, nandika mahali kwa mba LCM ni 15. Ukisha kata LCM ya hivi number, mbato ni tunaita denominator. Kitofanya next, ni unamultiply every term. Hii ya kwanza hii, inaito the first term. Hii inaita the second term na hapa tukuna third term. These are terms. Kwa hivyo kuna multiply every term with LCM. Kwa hivyo, unaweka hapa bracket, unapiga times 15. Unaweka hapa bracket times 15. Unaweka hapa bracket times 15. Ukifanya hivyo LCM manani yake imeisha. Kwa hivyo, hii inaenda kumara moja, marangati hapa, maratana. Hii naenda pa mara moja, mara ngapi kwa 15, mara 3. Hii tuna multiply direct kwa sababu 1 itakua. So we have 5 times P, we have 5P minus 5 times negative 4, the answer will be 20, negative 20. Plus 3 times P, 3P is equal to 5, 15 times 4, which is 60. Kufikia hapo sasa tunafanya kitu naitua like terms together. So 3P, 5P plus 3P, we have 8P is equal to, tujukue hii, hiende yu sa hindine, kwa sababu these are these are numbers. So inafika hapa. Ikifuka, kutoka hii side hiende, ifuti hii kwa sign, hiyo sign yake ina change. Hapa ilikuwa negative, itakuwa positive. So itakuwa 60 plus 20. Kwa hivyo 8P, is equal to 8. Sasa, tuna divide by both sides by 8, ndiyo tupate P. Divide by 8, divide by 8. So, you will find that P in that is 10. Assessment earns a basic salary of shilling 5,000 per month plus 5% commission for the sales of goods above 
shilling 40,000. In one month, he sold goods worth 80,000. How much did he earn that month altogether? So, kwanza tunajua kuna basic salary na kuna commission. Na hii commission anapewa kama ameuza goods ambazo ziko more than 4,000. 40,000. Inamanisha kama hajauza 40,000 test yani goods zifike 40,000 hata pewa commission. Kwa hivyo kama aliuza the total goods tukafika 8,000 tuna subtract 40,000. Because this is the limit. Pila hiyo kama hajafikisha hapa wewe sipewa commission. So we subtract from the total goods or cost sold. So for him for this person to get a commission of 5% of 100 goods lazima siwe ni 80,000 minus zile ambazo lazima apikishe. Kwa hivyo itakuwa ni 5 over 100 times 40,000. Tuna subtract. Kwa hivyo alipewa commission ya pesa ngapi? 22,000. Commission ilikuwa 2,000. Na basic salary auze as you say, kuna basic salary ya tapewa tu. Kwa hivyo ni 5,000 plus 2,000. Tumeleta shilling 7,000. Kwa hivyo, hiyo month, atalipo 7,000.